Farm Tools and Equipment Garden Tools It is a new day for Sam and Mze. They have discussed in the past few days a very brief introduction to what agriculture is and the factors that influence agriculture. Mze stated that today is where the real fun starts. Let's see if he is telling the truth. Good morning, Sam. How are you doing today? Good morning, Mze. I dreamt that I was a microorganism in the soil and was helping to build it up. That's more than you usually do, lazy boy. Unfortunately, you are a human and the best way to treat the soil is with the tools, not dreaming about being a microorganism. Tools? Mm -hmm. I thought you said today was going to be fun. Tools are fun. Humans have been using them for thousands of years to make work easier. They have been made of materials ranging from bone, wood, and metal. Ever improving technology means better tools and easier work. That is fun. Do you mean the ones in my dad's garage for fixing the car? Since it always breaks down. While those tools are useful as well, we will discuss specifically the ones used on the farm. Mm -hmm. The five main categories are garden tools, workshop, livestock, masonry, and plumbing tools. Which ones are we going to discuss first? Garden tools and equipment is a good place to start. Let's break it down on their uses for easier remembrance. Whatever you say, Mze. Shh. Now, panga, machete, axe, slasher, sickle are all used primarily for cutting bushes, trees, long grass and weeds. Mm -hmm. That is the general use to help remember but you'll need to study each one as well. Those look the coolest. Sure, Sam. Pruning saw, pruning knife, and the pruning hook are used specifically to help prune bushes and crops. Each one has a specific use depending on sensitivity and size of the plant. Pruning? Like eating prunes? No, boy. Pruning helps ensure proper plant growth by cutting back poor branches and allowing light and nutrients to the rest of the plant. Now, other pruning tools are pruning shears and socketeers. So, like a haircut? In a sense, yes. Now, in your dream, you are a small worm breaking up the dirt. But you are a macro-organism in real life and need to break and dig into the soil with other means. I was wiggling. Shovels, fork jambes, as well as garden forks are all used to break up the ground and help lift and move soil and manure around. I guess a simple jambe, pickaxe and rakes also fall under this category. Yep. Those seem like large tools. What if I have a small garden? You would use a spade and a garden trowel then. After you have cut the weeds and moved the dirt, it is time to start planting properly. Properly, you say? Just throw seeds at the dirt. No! You need a garden line or meter rule, a dibber, a measuring tape, and a leveling board to ensure the seeds are spaced and planted equally. If too close, they will be fighting for nutrients, and if too deep in the ground, they won't get proper sunlight. And if too shallow, mm -hmm. they could wash away when watering. Exactly. Glad you picked up. Speaking of watering, you need such tools as a garden hose, sprinkler, and a watering can. These make the process a lot easier. Any other ones? Yes. The classic wheelbarrow helps moving items a lot easier, and the knapsack sprayer help spray needed pesticides onto the plants. Where do you keep all these on the farm? It is important to keep your tools stored away properly in dry shed to prevent them from being damaged from the weather. They need to be cleaned after use. The cutting tools should be sharpened often and any moving parts like the wheelbarrow should be oiled to make it run smoothly. What about livestock? 
Do they need these tools? They have a whole list that they need. Follow me to the cow pen. Okay.